Hi, I'm Amy from the Waves and Wild team and I'm going to walk you through the steps for adding pockets to the beachcomber pattern. The children's and adults versions of the beachcomber both have the option to add pockets to the tunic or dress length. You can't add pockets to the t-shirt length because they would sit in a strange place. The steps are the same for either option and all sizes. I'm going to be adding pockets to an adult tunic length. If you want pockets on your beachcomber, then you'll need to use the colour blocking option. This is because the pockets are set into the vertical seams. But don't worry if you don't want a two-tone beachcomber. If you use the same fabric for all the pattern pieces, it won't look like a colour block. And you can choose between a colour blocked or plain back, as this won't affect the construction of the pockets. Before we look at the pocket construction, I just wanted to talk through all the pattern pieces that you'll need when adding pockets to your beachcomber. First of all, you'll need one front colour blocked centre piece. This is cut on the fold. You'll need two colour blocked sides for pocket option. These are cut mirror image. Please note this is different piece to the plain colour blocked side piece. So you've got to make sure it's the pocket option that you're cutting out. You'll need two pockets, again cut mirror image. You can then choose between a plain back, which is cut on the fold, or one back colour blocked centre, cut on the fold, with two colour blocked sides, which are cut mirror image again. And then you can choose whichever neckband option you want and extra sleeve pieces if you want the three quarter or long sleeves. To make one pocket, you're going to need two of your pattern pieces. Of course, when you're making your whole tunic or dress, you'll obviously need four because you want a pocket on each side. The first piece we need is the pocket one. You can see this is um, shaped with some diagonal lines and it has the curved bottom edge that you get on your finished tunic or dress. You then also need the the colour blocked side piece, which has got our sleeve shaping around the body, uh, diagonal to the bottom, and then it's a straight edge across here because the bottom edge of the pocket is actually going to give us the bottom edge of the finished tunic or dress. If you're following along with your Waves and Wild instructions, this is going to be step three in the Beachcomber instructions. The first thing we need to do is to grab our pocket piece and mark on the, the paper pattern piece just where this triangle dips in was a line, horizontal line across here. Now you could have marked that on your pattern piece if you wanted to, but you don't have to. There's no need to really. What we're going to do is we're going to fold this back on itself and we're going to sew a seam, which is going to be the top edge of our pocket. So the easiest thing to do is to flip it over to your wrong side and we're going to fold this back on itself. We're going to look for that point, which is just here. And then we're going to, to get our straight line, we're going to match up these two side edges. So here and here should be matched up with the layer of fabric underneath. I'm going to press this seam together. You could also pin it if you wanted to, flip it over like that, and then we're going to sew a line of stitching. You could use um, a twin needle or any stretch stitch of your choosing. Here's our pocket with the seam sewn down along that edge, and now we're going to add it to the side piece. So this is now onto step four. We'll take the colour blocked side piece with the um, sleeve up here and we're going to have it looking at the wrong side of the fabric. I'm going to move it up off my table so I'm looking at this edge of it, the sort of slightly triangle shaped section of that piece. I'm then going to take the pocket and we're going to look at this 
wrong side as well. We have got a right side of the fabric here because this is the back of our pocket that we just sewed. And what we're going to do is this is going to go underneath here. And this bottom edge is going to match up with this raw edge of the pocket, the straight raw edge. So this goes under here and this lines up to here. And you'll be able to, I'm not going to pin anything yet, I'm just going to get it lined up. I'm going to line it up to these side seams as well. So that's lining up there. So this is lined up, this is, and this is. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pin this bit, but you need to be careful not to pin this part of the fabric. So all I'm pinning is here. This is our colour block side piece. This is the pocket piece. There you can see that's where the seam was sewn in the previous step. So we're going to pin along this straight edge. You could use clips as well, it's, it's up to you, however, whatever you use to secure your pieces together. Just to make sure they're all perfectly lined up, put some pins along here. making sure that we're only pinning two layers and our pin is not going through to this layer of fabric. Okay, so this is how it looks. We've got the top edge with the sleeve and our shoulder and then down to here, we've got these two bits pinned together. So now I'm going to sew that seam. So now we've sewn that seam along here. This is what we've got. This was the curved edge that came from our original pocket piece. This is the straight edge from our colour blocked side piece. There's the seam that we've just sewn and if I move this side piece out of the way what you can see behind is the pocket seam that we did in the earlier step. If I flip it over, I'll show you what it looks like from the right side. So there's that curved edge. There's the seam that we sewed earlier on. And if I fold it back, this is the one that we just did now. So this has formed our pocket basically from here to here. So now we're on to step five and we need to secure this all in place before we add it into the other peach pieces of the beach coma. So I'm going to get it lined up again, make sure it's all smooth and flat and lined up exactly where we want it to be. And all of these edges, all of these raw edges should always be meeting up and aligning with each other. So what we're going to do in step five is to pin here and here and then we're going to add a basting stitch so that we can hold these layers of fabric in place whilst we're piecing them into the main beach comber. We don't need to pin all the way down to the bottom, we just need to pin to where the pocket ends. So it should be three layers of fabric here and that's what we're going to pin together now. So that's one edge pinned, and now I'll just turn it around and pin the other edge as well. Now you could, if you wanted to, just leave these pins in place and just use those to hold your pocket where it should be. And then when you come to pin, the next step is going to be finding this long central seam of our colour blocked piece, which is all the way along here. And we'll be adding the central piece here. So you could leave these pins in place. And when you are pinning your 
central colour box piece to this to sew this vertical seam, you could just make sure that you move these pins and repinned again. I'm going to do the basting stitch just so I can show you what the pocket looks like when it's fully constructed but before it's been added into the main beach comber. And here's our completed pocket. These are the basting stitches that I've just done. Those are only to secure it in place and they're going to get lost in the main seams of the beach comber. So if I flip it over, you can see that here's the top edge of the pocket. You can just about see where it's thicker here, which is that bottom seam that we added. So that's where the pocket ends. And then when you come to put this into your main garment, this is our side edge. This is the center edge. So this is where the middle piece will be. And then you're going to create another pocket just like this, but the mirror image. And there's the finished pocket in there plenty of room for lots of different stuff and then that's just going to get added into our finished beach comer tunic or dress length and you'll carry on with the instructions as usual and just now treat this as one piece to go into the rest of the garment